going to till these grass clippings into the ground. Well, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning and I'm still not awake. I just put my contacts in. Uh, and I was watching a video from Appalachia's homestead. Um, I used to follow her closely, but since I've been working so hard, I haven't really had time. But <laughs> she made a video titled, Would You Starve? that really kind of touched me um, and it made me realize that while these are cute um, if shit were to hit the fan today I would die I would starve to death the grocery stores would be raided and there would be nothing left and I would have nothing I don't even know if my chickens would show up so it kind of gave me a sense of urgency, and while it is late spring, almost summer, um, that is going to go bye-bye today. All that beautiful lush grass that I was planning on dinking around and letting my goats eat whenever I get around to getting them. Nope, I'm mowing it. I'm mowing it, and I'm getting out my rototiller, and I am tearing up this whole thing, and I'm filling it with seeds. I'm just going to till these grass clippings into the ground. A little bit of rage this morning. I can't get my tiny rototiller to start. I haven't used it in a couple of years. It's just been sitting doing nothing. So I may or may not have kicked it several times. What this means is if I'm going to till this dirt, I have to do it with a shovel. And the Lord wanted me to work today, and so that is what I shall do. I'm stopping for a break for a moment. I wanted to explain exactly what's going on whenever I turn my soil this way and why I was attempting to not do this my first year. All of the little microorganisms that are living beneath the grass, they have created their own little happy home and I have now just stuck my shovel in, flipped them up, so now they're exposed to the rays of the sun, which is going to kill them and it's going to cause them to release tons of nutrients into my first garden soil on this row. And the reason that that's bad is those plants are going to rob the soil of those nutrients. And that's where farmers get into putting fertilizers into their farms. They tear up the soil. They expose all of those nutrients to the sun. They die, release their nutrients. Then there aren't any, so they have to add fertilizers to make up for them. And oftentimes, most of the time, they use artificial fertilizers, which in the end ends up poisoning the soil. So, that's why Eden beds or whatever are better. But if you want results right now, then by all means, destroy that row of happy little microorganisms because they're going to give you crops straight away instead of having to wait years. However, next year if I choose to dig again I'm going to have to add fertilizers because all those happy little microorganisms will be dead. Now by next year hopefully I have enough manure and all the things that I need to start improving all of this land. But as it is right now, I don't. I have grass. I have lots of grass and leaves. So I'm killing all those microorganisms for my food. What I've done here is I've turned the sod upside down in the hole that I trench that I dug. So what that's supposed to do is kill it. But I'm still going to mulch this because I want to minimize weeds because I'm such a noob. A lot of these plants I don't recognize as they sprout. I don't, I don't know if they are 
weeds or if they are what I planted. So um, I'm going to mulch it up so I have fewer weeds to try to figure out. Well, look who survived the mowing. I was getting grass clippings and he just hopped out of the pile that I had made. The teensy little feller. Ricky came out and got the rototiller working just long enough for me to do this one row and I um, mixed up the dirt and the grass and the leaves and because I mowed down such mature grass I'm sure it's going to be super weedy but I don't care try to replace some of the nitrogen and stuff that I'm killing out of the soil but it's an experiment we'll see what happens um, but then it died Ricky thinks it's because I didn't put oil gas mixture in it. It's possible. But if it ever works again, I'm going to do more rows because I cleared all this area for gardens. So. Well, $1,024. And I've got enough lumber to fix the barn, build another chicken coop, and build the rabbit cages. Well, I'm about to attach the floor of the second coop. And man, new lumber makes your life so much easier than old lumber. This thing should be a beauty. Well, I've been working on this for about four hours, and I've learned something about myself today. I'm much better at duplicating other people's work than I am being creative. With the one on the left, um, I was trying to be creative, I eyeballed a lot of things. I did very little measuring other than just a few things. The rest I would just cut to size, you know, hold it up, mark it, cut it. But this, I did all measurements, math, whatever. But first, I watched a YouTube video. Just a YouTube video. And after I watched it, I was able to duplicate it. I put in a little windowsill. I've got the door is going to be on the same size. This is a lean-to style. The door is going to be right here. Whereas <clears throat> this, I did a whole open face, and I've had trouble finding equipment to make it latch uh, to keep the door closed when the chickens are in it at night. But this one, it feels to close. Um, it's five feet tall. It's a lean-to, so it's five feet tall there, and it's four feet tall there. So I'll be able to walk in here and stoop over it. Um, I just wish, I wish I would have watched a YouTube video before I built this. But it's built, and this one is almost built, and it's taking a lot less time since I don't have to remove a bunch of nails, and it's prettier. Well, the sun's setting on another glorious day on the homestead, and I've got all three walls up. Um, this is going to be the front panel for the door. Um, I went ahead and put my nesting box in there because I'm excited to see what it looked like. So tomorrow I'm going to finish the door and stuff and then put the roof on. Oh my gosh, this one took me so much less time than that one. I'm starting to hate that one with each passing day. But I'm so glad that we got so much done today.